Hi folks, I am Becky with Enduring Finances. Welcome to my channel. Today we're taking a very in-depth look at the individual dividends that I earned in my personally self-directed stock portfolio through Ally. Um, we're going to look at all the dividends that I earned from the month of June, how I reinvested the dividends that I earned in May back into my portfolio, and how we are doing as far as my goals and the statistics of slowly building up this dividend generating portfolio. So without further ado, let's jump into the meat and potatoes of what my portfolio did and how it performed this last month. All right, so first off the bat, we can see it was a pretty good month. It's green and that is always a good sign. My portfolio balance jumped up to $36,625.59 for a gain this month of $657.91 or about 1.83% in market value increase, bringing my total gain for this year to almost 10.4% just over $3,500 with that. And we can see that we've danced around a little bit, had one bad month where we dropped down a little bit, but uh, we are moving forward steadily. I'm happy to see that 10% market value increase this month, this year, what am I talking about? So that is fantastic. Let's go ahead and jump into my strategy and how I reinvested the dividends that I earned in May into my portfolio. In May, we were looking at a pretty pretty decent portfolio breakdown, knowing that I wanted to focus on real estate and healthcare because those were lower on my target areas. And my target breakdown is based off of the total portfolio value and the percentage, the weight of the percentage that I have as my target to have invested in each one of the different sectors, finance 25, tech, real estate, and community stables 15, and all the way down. So I use that as a guide to reinvest money into the different sectors based on how they increase or decrease based on companies, valuations going up or down or dividend increases, all those things play a factor. Is this a foolproof method? No, but I like it and it works for me and I have fun doing this. So this is how we reinvested last month. I ended up focusing solely on real estate just because it has been hit really hard for the last couple of years now and I've been really just focusing a lot on real estate, bringing that back up. Um, so I ended up buying four different shares. One was through ticker symbol RITM, which I bought for $11.06. And then I bought three more shares of ticker symbol NLY for $20 a pop, bringing my total um, money reinvested in my portfolio to $71.06 for this month. Pretty good there. And then we can see how the reinvestment and how the fluctuations in market values in went through for the month of June. And we can see by the current breakdown, and this is June 30th, end of market. So we can see that finance is still going down. Even though the target money has increased, is because I think the hard thing with this is that as I reinvest more money, the overall value of my portfolio goes up. And so the percentages change again. So even though I invested money into real estate, it is still needing more money reinvested into it. But we can see that we increased my dividend yield there um, by a few dollars. And these are all gonna increase as some of the companies increase their dividends, which we will get to later. Um, so going into July, I'm gonna look heavily at investing in finance and real estate, just trying to bring these back up, just trying to rebalance and bring these, these different sectors back up to my target goal for them. But that is enough for the strategy. Let's go ahead and take a look at a broad view of the dividends that I earned. So we had a really big month coming in at $111.41. Not my biggest month of the year, but pretty dang good. I'm very happy to see that coming through. And that brings my total dividend yield for this year to $641.26. So halfway through the year, not too shabby there. Let's go ahead and take a look at all the individual dividends that I earned that make up this $111. So dividend number one that I earned on the 3rd of June is ticker symbol ENB, which is Enbridge Incorporated for $2.68. I own four shares of this stock and we're up about 8.2% in this position for a gain of about $10.88. And we are seeing that Canadian tax come out because it is a Canadian company. 
Uh, dividend number two coming in again on the 3rd of June is Tigger Cell PSX, which is Phillips 66. I earned $3.45 from the three shares that I own. And this company is doing fantastic. We are up over 125% in value for a gain of about $235. And this company went ahead and increased their dividend from $1.05 a share to $1.15 a share. So 10 cent increase there. Dividend number three coming in again on the 3rd of June is ticker symbol V, which is Visa Incorporated. I earned $1.56 off the three shares of stock that I own, and we are up about 29% in this position, and this company makes up about 2.15% of my overall portfolio breakdown, and based off of the last annual analysis that I did, the average stock in my company in my portfolio is about 1% or less, so anything above that is pretty good. Dividend number four coming in on the 5th of June is ticker symbol BNDX, which is the Vanguard Total International Bond ETF. We earn 29 cents from the three shares of this that I own, and we're down about uh, $7.40 in this position, so nothing too crazy there. Dividend number five coming in on the 5th of June is ticker symbol JNJ, which is Johnson & Johnson. Earned $1.24 from the one share that I own. And yes, you are seeing that right away that they increased their dividend from $1.19 a share to $1.24 a share. It's always really obvious when you only have one share. Um, but we are doing good there. Uh, we're down about 1.8% in this position for a loss of less than $3.00. Uh, dividend number six coming in on the 6th of June is ticker symbol CMI, which is Cummins Incorporated. We earned $1.68 from the one share that I own, and we are up just shy of 30% in this position. Dividend number seven coming in on the 6th of June is ticker symbol SO, which is Southern Company, one of my favorite companies. We earned $10.80 from the 15 shares that I own, and we are up about $253 in this position. And it is one of the bigger companies in my portfolio, coming in at 3.18% overall value. And they went ahead and did an increase in the dividend from 70 cents a share to 72 cents a share. So woot woot. Dividend number eight coming in on the 7th of June is ticker symbol AMGN. We are $2.25 from the one share I own. And we are up about 27.7% in this position. Dividend number nine coming in on the 10th of June, ticker symbol CVX, which is the Sevron Corporation. We're at $1.63 from the one share I own, and we are up $66.07 in this position. Dividend number 10 coming out on the 10th of June is ticker symbol LYB, and we earned $1.34 from the one share I own. And yes, again, this company where I own one share of stock increased their dividend from $1.25 a share to $1.34 a share. So almost a nine cent increase with that. And this company is doing pretty well. Uh, we are up about 38.5% in this position overall. Dividend number 11 coming in on 13th of June is ticker symbol CNB, which is Centerpoint Energy Incorporated. We're in $5.80 from the 29 shares that I own, and we are up over $280 in this position for a gain of about 45, 46% overall. Dividend number 12 coming in on the 13th of June is ticker symbol HD, which is Home Depot Incorporated. We're on $2.25 from the one share that I own, and we're up $58 in this position for a gain of about 20.5%. Dividend number 13 coming in on the 13th of June is ticker symbol MSFT, which is Microsoft Corporation. We're in 75 cents from the one share I own, and we're up almost 97% in this position for a gain of about $220. Dividend number 14 coming in on the 14th of June is ticker symbol KEY. We earn $3.08 from the 15 shares that I own, and we are up about 15.5% in this position for a gain of about $29. Dividend number 15 coming in again on the 14th of June is ticker symbol O, which is Realty Income Corporation. For $2.89, I now own 11 shares of this company, and we are down about 13.5% for a loss of just shy of $91. But they went ahead and increased their dividend a fraction of a penny, I'll show it on the screen here, from 20, 25 and 7 tenths cents to 26 and a quarter cents. So just shy of 26 cents to just above 26 cents. But I mean, it's a little bit, and I will take it, and those 11 shares add up with that. I'm not good with numbers. They're so hard to say. 
Dividend number 16 coming out on the 14th of June. Sticker symbol PFE, which is Pfizer. We earned $1.68 from the four shares that I own. And we're down about $27 in this position for a loss of about 19.4%. Dividend number 17 coming in on the 17th of June is ticker symbol DUK, which is Duke Energy Corporation. We're in $2.05 from the two shares that I own, and we are up about $27 in this position. Dividend number 18 coming in on the 17th of June is ticker symbol NEE, which is Nextra Energy Incorporated. We're in $3.61 from the seven shares that I own, and we are down about 5.7% in this position. Um, not a too bad loss there, about $30 down. And this company makes up about 1.35% of my entire portfolio, so sit right there about on average. Dividend number 19 coming in on the 17th of June is ticker symbol STAG, which is Stag Industrial. We're in 49 cents from the eight shares that I own, and we are down about $5.40 in this position. Dividend number 20 coming in again on the 20th of June is ticker symbol D, which is Dominion Energy. We are in $2.67 from the four shares that I own, and we are down about $44.5 in this position, or about 18.5% loss in market value. Not too crazy there. Dividend number 21 coming in on the 20th of June is ticker symbol FLO, which is Flower Foods Incorporated. We're in $1.15 off the five shares that I own, and we are down exactly $11.50% in this position. Dividend number 22 coming in on the 25th of June is ticker symbol EFC, which is Ellington Financial Incorporated, one of my monthly dividend earners. We earned $7.25 from the 55 shares that I own, and this company is down about 33.4% for a loss of about $333. Nothing too crazy there, um, but they did decrease their dividend, so we're keeping an eye on it and watching what happens. Dividend number 23 coming in on the 25th of June is ticker symbol SU, which is Suncor Energy Incorporated. We're in $5.08 from the 15 shares that I own, and this company it's also a Canadian company, but this company is doing fabulous. We are up over 145% in gain from market value, uh, meaning we have gained just shy of $340 from total value when I purchased these shares. So I'm happy to see that. And this company makes up about 1.6% of my entire portfolio. Dividend number 24 coming in on the 25th of June is ticker symbol UNH, which is United Healthcare Group. We are in $6.30 from the three shares that I own, and we are up over $550 in this position for a gain of about 57% overall. And this company went ahead and increased their dividend from $1.88 a share to $2.10 a share, so a pretty decent increase in their dividend yield. And I'm excited to see that because this is a larger company in my portfolio and one that is doing pretty well. Dividend number 25 coming in on the 27th of June is ticker symbol TROW. We earned $3.72 from the three shares that I own, and we are at a loss of about 15.8% in this position. Dividend number 26 coming in on the 28th of June is ticker symbol AVGO. We are in $10.50 from the two shares that I own, and this company is doing so well. Um, goodness, totally, just they're kicking butt. Uh, we are up in this position alone between two shares of the stock. We have gained $2,391.43 in market value. That is over 291% increase in value from when I purchased them. Oh, and this is a big baby in my portfolio coming in with a total portfolio value of 8.77%. So it makes up almost 9% of my entire portfolio. Uh, it is doing fantastic. I'm happy to see that. Moving right along, dividend number 27 coming in on the 28th of June is ticker symbol BAC, which is the Bank of America. We're in $7.44 in dividends from the 31 shares that I own, and this company is up about 23% for a gain of about $230. Dividend number 28 coming in on the 28th of June is ticker symbol CCI, which is Crown Castle Incorporated. We're in $7.83 from the five shares that I own, and this company is down about 24.6% overall with a loss of about $160. 
They have a number 29 coming in again on the 28th of June, sticker symbol KHC, which is Kraft Heinz Company. We're in $3.20 from the eight shares that I own, and we are down about $13 in market value loss, or just shy of 5% overall. Dividend number 30 coming in on the 28th of June is ticker symbol LMT, which is Lockheed Martin Corporation. We're in $3.15 from the one share that I own, and we have gained $75.59 in market value since I purchased this, which is about 19.3% in gain overall. Dividend number 31 coming in on the 28th of June is ticker symbol LTC, another monthly dividend earner that I have. We're in $1.90 from the 10 shares that I own, and we are down about $30 in this position. And then dividend number 32, the last dividend that I earned in the month of June, came in on the 28th, ticker symbol TRV, which is the Traveler's Company. We are in $2.10 from the two shares that I own, and we are up about $126 in this position for a gain of about 45%-ish. And they went ahead and increased their dividend five cents from one dollar a share to one dollar and five cents a share. So that wraps up all the 32 individual dividends that I earned. Let's go ahead and jump over and see how all of these money, all this money impacts the statistics of my portfolio and my goals that I set for myself. So taking a look at the statistics, we can see that we saw a slight drop in my dividend yield. This is going to value, this is going to adjust and decrease and increase based off of the total value of my portfolio and what companies increase or decrease their dividends. It just depends on that. So we are sitting about 3.41% at the end of June, slight dip from May. But we did see an increase in the dividend, the average dividend yield per year that I would get for my portfolio, we were back up to $1,243.76 per month. That would be $103.65 per week. That goes to $23.92. We are getting closer and closer being back to that $24 from when we had a big cut in some of my dividends earlier this year. Um, if we were to look at a daily average dividend yield, we were making $3.41 a day. Per hour, that comes out to 14 and 2 tenths cent, still sitting at that 2 tenths of a penny or whatnot for per minute. And then to compare this dividend yield to a average 40 hour work week, we would be making just shy of 60 cents an hour doing this. And we can see that my day, average daily dividend yield has jumped up and down, but yeah, we're doing okay so far. Let's jump over and see how all of these dividends, earnings, and whatnots impacts my goals. So we can see the current value of my portfolio is well above what I wanted to reach this year. We are knocking off check marks on this long-term goal list. Total dividends this year, $641. I would like to eat earn $1,400. I don't think we are going to get there. I think it is too lofty of a goal just based off of my average annual yield. We are about a hundred and some odd dollars shy of that. So I would have to have a really big jump in companies increasing their dividend yield, which probably won't happen. Uh, per month, we're still below $105. For the year, I want to reach 110 And then per day, I want to get back up to $3.60 a day. We are sitting about $3.41 a day. So we've hit these, but we didn't stay there. So hopefully as my, as my portfolio value has increased, we will continue to increase the dividend yield and how much dividends that I'm earning. But all in all, it was a pretty good month. We made over $111 in dividend income, and this is pretty much passive income. I'm only doing a minimal amount of research and time reinvesting and updating this spreadsheet honestly probably takes longer than most of that. So it's been a pretty good month. That is halfway through the year coming in over $640 in dividend income, which is phenomenal. Uh, I could not be happier with that. So hopefully the rest of this year just keeps on rolling along and we are doing fantastic. Hopefully you guys also have had a good month in June and a good first half of the year as far as managing your own portfolios and your own dividend income. So this is going to wrap it up for me. Hopefully you guys had a great month and I will see you next time. Bye folks.